Hey guys, so today I want to take a look here at macOS 10.9 Mavericks, uh, which I have installed here on my MacBook Pro. So it's just going to be a quick little uh, boot up here and a quick little close look if I can do it. So um, I have installed over here, so I'm just going to boot it up here. There we go. So some of the new additions here is a battery should be one hour longer from what I've heard. And notifications, you can reply to them. You can now tag more stuff so it's easy to find in different colors. iCloud keychain support. Uh, it is a free update also from the Mac App Store. Uh, you can have tabs in the Finder windows and there are two new apps, Maps and iBooks. So Maps is just like no more maps, you can <laughs> search. Uh, maps just uh, as Apple Maps on on your phone if you have an iPhone iBooks of course you just have your normal books uh, in uh, or on the computer but this is just gonna be a first quick little look here if I can pull it off hopefully I can usually don't do it like this but hey it's always fun to try out something new Maybe this is a retarded angle. There we go. Okay, so the first thing here, of course, just uh, sign in as always. So uh, let's see here. I have created a new account. Used a clean, a clean account from the fresh boot up here. How it looks. So of course you have the new, I think it's the new wallpaper at least, uh, the new wallpaper here for this little operating system. Let's see here. Let's see here if my camera likes this. So if you start off here um, by ch checking out the finder window here, uh, you can see that we get these kinds of tags here at the side and uh, I might be taking a closer look at that in the future. Uh, so different tags, different colors, uh, you can tag different stuff. So uh, you can see, let's see here, uh, you can remove, rename, red, remove from sidebar. They just made some default tags here in different colors uh, which which you definitely can explore if you would like let's see here if we can go to all my files I don't have any file here okay let's run them it's kind of random I can't create a new file cats let's try here can we yeah we can label it and also like when you save when you save stuff uh, when you save stuff on your computer uh, you can uh, immediately tag it as well. So let's tag this. Let's tag this by calling it a uh, new folder. And we can also tag it and have it in another color here. Yeah, a lot of colors, a lot of interesting stuff. So if I would search here for cats. Doesn't show up. Hmm, weird. But you can see here, I have it in multiple colors. I have tagged it, so I can find it here. Interesting stuff. Uh, you can also click Control T uh, and open up a new tab here, or as many as you want. I can see this to be a little bit useful, definitely. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, let's see here if we can close them down. And then you can see the two new apps here as well uh, on the, uh, the desktop or maybe they don't call it desktop but the uh, first is like maps over here and then you can see if we fire it up that uh, you can just zoom in you can zoom out you can have this normal standard move around here let's see if we can try to zoom in and it's very very fluid and everything even though maybe not 
everyone likes Apple Maps so much. Uh, you also have the 3D view and transportation that you can add. Directions as well, if you quickly wanna add in some directions here, either by walking or car. You have your start direction and your end direction here. And then you can also send directions to your phone or message or whatever. And the satellite view here, Let's just close this. So you have the normal satellite view here as well. And it takes some time probably to render. There we go. So it's rendering up all of the stuff here, which is pretty awesome. And then we have a button here uh, for all of your places and stuff. Uh, you should also have better support overall uh, for uh, for multi window. If you have uh, multiple window, it should be better uh, screen support. If you have multiple screens and you like to use full screen apps, you should definitely have better support for that from what I have seen. So that is pretty cool. And then you do get this other app here called iBooks. So you have all kinds of, if you do buy books, I usually use Kindle to buy books, but if you wanna use Apple's way to buy stuff, you can see here that they do have that integrated as well. Maybe they already had that before, I'm really not sure. But it's pretty awesome stuff because it works, it's, it's clean, it is good looking. And you can see I don't have any books here. I have all my books on Kindle, uh, which is like owned by Amazon. So that is how I do stuff. But uh, just because it looks very, very clean here, it's very, very attractive to maybe buy something. Yeah, we uh, Mac users, we buy stuff. We buy a lot of stuff. Let's delete that one. How do we delete that one? But uh, this video, just as I said here, a quick little look. There we go, we deleted that one. Now iCloud Keychain, or just maybe I can open up Safari here as well. Uh, I think this could be a new thing, let's see here. This thing here on the side, uh, with the reading list in, um, in, uh, in Safari, if you do use that, bookmarks and reading list, I think that's a, new little feature there. Uh, iCloud Keychain, as I've been stating in iOS 7.0.3, uh, that you can store all of your uh, credit card numbers and your passwords and sync it across all of your devices. Pretty neat stuff. Uh, I'm not really sure if you have to sign into iCloud uh, to handle all that stuff. Is it in here maybe? Yeah, you can sign in with uh, probably iCloud and uh, set that stuff up. It uh, will probably be awesome uh, if, if you if you pull that off. Yes, and of course we can just open up Apple's website here or do whatever we want. So oh no, oh no, we do have the new iPad Air here, Apple's new latest iPad, and they also unveiled some other interesting stuff, new MacBook Pros and cool awesome stuff that I might be taking a closer look at. Oh my god, that's so expensive! I don't, I don't have that money. <laughs> maybe I do, maybe I do. Uh, let's see here. So, free updates, tabs, maps, iBooks, uh, better battery should be. Uh, also, when you get notifications up here at the top, you should be able to reply uh, instantly, which is definitely nice. Overall, notifications uh, looks like they are more awesome. And then there should be a ton of other new, of course, tweaks and stuff, but uh, this is just, of course, just a quick little first look here. Is this the new wallpapers? I'm not, really, I'm really not sure. Maybe a few of them is new wallpapers. Hopefully they are. I should be able to compare because I have iOS uh, 10.8 on one of my other computer, or actually on two of my other computers. So uh, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you want to see more like Mac videos like this or something, I'm not sure how this video is going to turn out, but uh, then you can just let me know and I will definitely see what I can do.